Hey everyone, this is Stephanie Songbird, and today is Bible Facts Friday. I'm going to keep this really short. Uh, uh, if, if you see my post on Instagram or on Facebook, I'm back on Facebook. Um, I've been very, very sick. My throat has been killing me, and among other things. So um, I'm just going to share something really quick. Now, it is Final Facts Friday, but I am going to share my Kate Spade collection. And my Kate Spade collection has dwindled. I had five in total, but I traded two, kind of kicking myself in the behind for that. Um, although I don't regret trading because they went to some lovely ladies and some lovely homes. But I kind of missed those two colors because now they're so hard to find. But nevertheless, I am uh, happy that they got them. And I'm happy that I have these three. So let me just scoot this over a little bit because I'm doing this on the buffet table at my apartment. <laughs> so here's the first one that I wanted to share. It is not a Final Facts. It is a Kate Spade. Here is the Kate Spade logo, which is a spade. Her name and uh, New York and the four grommets, I guess you call them, to hold the little um, label or whatever you call it. This is a Zip Wellesley. And this is the newer one, and I'm going to explain why it's the newer one, because you've probably seen this one a ton of time. And I'm filming this one-handed, but so give me a moment. I should have opened this before. Um, I'm saying that this is the newer one because the older ones, like the other two that I had, I had two Wellesleys in uh, green and what they called purple, which really looked like a hot pink. Um, I had those two, and they had on the interior polka dots the the older ones had polka dots so here you can see the interior has just kate spade new york written um up, uh, upside down and uh, right side up over and over in a pattern you just you know what this is just do this in here mm -hmm. okay so let me show you what the wellesley looks like like i said it's um zipped this is a personal size it fits file effects uh, papers it has a ton of pockets on the side it has one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets for credit cards, another pocket here, and another pocket here. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed, so ugh, this is terrible. On the back, it has, oh gosh, something fell. Oh, my other Kate Spade fell, I gotta go pick it up. It, it has a, what do you call this, a secretarial pocket and one pen loop that's made of leather. It is not um, elasticized. The rings are in gold. I don't know if that you can actually see that in the camera, but they're gold, they're beautiful. And it fits quite a bit. It is the zip, this is what they call the pillow box or pillar, pillar box, pillow box red. It's a very, very pretty deep, deep, deep red, I love it. The next one that I have is not zipped, and I don't know the name of it. I got this off eBay and it was used and um, it was at a super, super, super cheap price. The reason being because of this crease right here. So it's funny because the um, box that it came in was also creased in that corner. So I know how it got creased. But you know what? It doesn't really bother me so much. This is fine. This is a gold Kate Spade. It doesn't have this extra leather piece with the four grommets. It just has... Um, the embossing of her name alone right onto the cover of the binder and it does have her logo I don't know if that's clear right here and that looks like a grommet but it's in her spade logo so this one is in gold and turn it around so you can see beautiful and I was tempted to get the Kiki K and I was looking for the original uh, file effects in gold but I couldn't find them or I was Actually, I couldn't find the original in gold. I found the Kiki K in gold in the medium size, but I had gotten the lilac Kiki K, and I'll do a video on that one as well. And I, I didn't really like it too much. It just, I don't know. It just wasn't for me, so I just have it on the side somewhere. So this one, unlike the first one I showed you, does not have a zipper. It has a, I don't know what you call this, a little press button, whatever. On the inside, it is hot pink, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm so in love with the gold and the pink. It is beautiful. Again, her logo is here, and this is just embossed. Just like the zipped Wellesley, it's got the eight big pockets here, a big pocket on this side, 
and a big pocket on this side and then the secretarial pocket on the right with the leather pen loop and then I, the only complaint i have about kate spade is that it only has one pen loop that's it and um most filofaxes in personal size only have one pen loop but a lot of them do come in um elasticized material so it's easier to put in like a coletto pen which is a lot thicker the barrel's thicker this one not so much because it's leather so it's kind of a pain to get a pen in there so that's this one and let me bend down and pick up the one that i just dropped sorry okay so here she is very similar to the gold that i just showed you because it has like that buckle on the side here um but similar to well let me show you this so it's got the buckle on the side right the closure like the snap closure like the gold but it's got that extra leather piece this leather piece with the four grommets on the um on the uh enclosure the the snap closure similar to the wellesley what it does have that's different is that it does not have her logo hmm that's weird it doesn't have her logo but it is a kate spade this is probably a much older um model and I, and i say that because if you open it up it's got the polka dots and the older ones have uh the polka dots now this one was not in great condition i bought it used and i knew that it wasn't in great condition you can see a lot of marks here I just haven't had the time to sit and clean it, but I do have a leather cleaner from Coach that I used to clean my Coach bags. So it may just work here, I just haven't tried it yet. So here, again, the big pocket, polka dots inside, the eight uh, credit card pockets, another pocket here, again, the gold rings, secretarial pocket, and the one leather um, pen loop. Now, here is the Kate Spade embossed again. And it doesn't have her logo. So that kind of, I'm like, just like, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Um, this was a steal. I mean, it, I paid barely anything for it because it was in such dirty conditions that I guess it wasn't selling. But otherwise, it's just fine. It's the interior that's really dirty. I can clean that up and it, no one will see it except for me. So there is my, I don't know if you call this a turquoise or an aqua. Uh, Kate Spade with the snap enclosure or the belt, the red zipped Wella sleeve, and the gold. I don't know the name of this, but it's the gold with the pink interior. So this is my Kate Spade um, collection. I don't think I'll get any other Kate Spades. I'm not so fond of the zipped model, but I love the colors of the other two, and I think that's why I was... Um, it didn't bother me to just trade them because they are zipped and the zip kind of bugs me. Um, I don't know. It just bugs me. I know it holds everything in, but I prefer this one. Maybe because I can put tabs that stick up and paper clips and all that stuff. Um, and I can't do that with the zipped. Nevertheless, I love my three Kate Spades. Wish I had a green one, especially a green one. Love green. And a pink one. But in the meantime, I am very happy with my gold and pink. My aqua and my red next friday i will do a video on my collection of my originals because i have quite a few filofax originals and that's it thanks so much for watching until next time happy organizing bye bye